No, 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 don't do that. We're not doing that. Hell no. Anyway, welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time we left off. Oh, we're going to war. Yeah, <laughs> that was it. Now, I have not done any grinding for, for up to this point. Because one, I, I just didn't really feel like it. And two, we're, we're at the level we need, we sh we need to be, so uh, we're safe. Also, give me a second. Something I want to fix real quick. Alright. Now then, we got some parallels to do. So let's... Actually, hold on a second. Was there anything else? Nope. Alright, to battle. To battle. This is the only paralogue we got to do. Let's do it. Hey, Professor. I might have to go back home for a little while. Is there some kind of emergency? Well, that's one way of putting it. The Almiran forces are causing trouble at Fodlin's locket. Oh, <laughs> now the time we're supposed to be going to war? Well, the mountain range that separates the Alliance from Almira is called Fodlin's Throat. There's a fortress right on top of the throat, and they call that Fodlin's Locket. So you're going to help defend it? Well, yeah, you could say that. I'm sure my brother would be able to handle them on his own. But he said he really wants me to help out. I guess he's a bit tired out from all his hard work. Anyway, our dad's not as sprightly as he used to be. He's not up for a fight. Apparently it would look bad if we left it to the retainers. I really, really don't want to go, but I guess I have to. Hey, Hilda. I, well, I wasn't trying to eavesdrop, but I heard you talking. Hmm? Oh, what's up, Zero? You're gonna fight the Almirans, yeah? Yes, but it's nothing you need to worry about, Zero. It's not that. I was just wondering if, if maybe I could maybe go along with you. But you'd be fighting people from your homeland. Do you really want to do that? None of them would remember me anyway. It's just that I got captured in the battle at the locket, and that's how I ended up here. So I'm kind of worried that other kids who lose their folks might not be so lucky. What do you mean? Before Lady Rhea took me in, I had a real hard time as a servant of House Goneril. I'm sorry to hear that, but it's not like I'll go around snapping up all Myron children. That's good, but I just... I want to see things for myself, so I know that everything's okay. Hmm. Well then, let's go together. Oh, would you want to join us, Professor? My brother will be there, but I'm a little scared about fighting all those fierce Almirans. If you could come too, it'd be really great. We'd all feel way safer if you did. I'll come with you. Great! I know we'll be okay if you're there. Let's head out right away. I'll go and get ready too. Now, 
how many of the units are we going to be able to use? More than I thought. All right. Let's bring Raphael with us. Actually, hold on, do I have my dealers? Yes, I do. All right, bring Raphael. Now, do I have the healers not on the other side? So you go over here, I guess. Why are all the archers over here? You go over there, Felix. All right. You down over here. I should be fine. One of those Hilda's there. I think I got a plan. Maybe center. You will be a problem. Let's stand over there. I think we're good. Well. The weapons we need to repair? Let's repair the killing edge plus. Thanks a bunch. Now I want to repair it. Not let's repair the steel sword. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Come back. All right. We should be good to go. Actually, hold on. Level are you? Four. Four. Don't need to worry about these two anymore because we've already done their the paralogs. Right. Oh, hold on a second. Let's see. Nope. That's not what I wanted. I think I caught that. Alright, now we're ready. Yodel or Shiro falls in battle. All allies are defeated or the defended location is captured. Most of our allies have fallen. My big brother and I can probably handle this, though. Hilda, glad you made it. Lord Holst has been afflicted with a sudden illness and couldn't come. He's not here? 
Oh, I'm sorry. You must have been absolutely terrified. It's okay, though. I brought along someone who can definitely help us. That's you, Professor. Please help us save our allies and protect Fodlan's locket. No, Myron army is approaching. Do not allow them to the defendant to location. You can earn rewards based on how many Goneril soldiers he's rescued. Good thing I knew about this back road, huh? We ought to be able to help our friends from here. All right. Let's see what we got here. I got this. I have you come up over here. I don't know what he's going to do. And what is the victory condition? Not the end. Alright, good enough for me. I'll go. Let's see what I'm gonna see what he does. Stay focused. I have held back. Leave it to me. Hold on. Okay, that's the range. Not close enough. Perfect. His range. Oh, same. All right. Kill him. You were outmatched. All right. Who me? We head to the north. Ready and willing. You. Oh no. Get down over here. Along sure with thing. you. Who me? You see here for now. All right. See what happens. Yields results. And dead. Be one of those moments, yep, so I know what I'm doing. Why you didn't crit the bird? Yeah. 
good job. Zero, Ready get up there, are. if you can. Felix will be Here fine. Jesus! That's just a falcon punch. <laughs> Learn that one to smash! And it's normal terrain. What's your skill then? The decks. Are you kidding me? Well, I'm gonna have to fix that. Anyway. Hell yeah. Don't forget who you're dealing with. Oops, did I not? Oh, you're the only one. All right. your head sometimes. But why? Uh, another one. Yeah. They keep trying. Not so fast. you gotta do. They're really good at hitting them. No damage to him. Sorry, but victory is mine. Now get ready to heal him. No, 
Now that is the problem with that certain unit. And then you just go for, <laughs> go for the guy who can't he, he, he do damage to. Whoever floats your boat. Here. Come back to pull. Thanks. You die. Uh, I'm all sweaty. Last one. Might as well. And of course, it's a crit. <laughs> Never underestimate an outsider. Amazing. All right, then. We got that archer to worry about now. And prepare to die. You're weak. That's for wasting my time. Seventy percent chance to hit him. The fuck. I'm surprised the Gunro soldiers are not using their gambits. Huh. 
All right, time for you to go down. Prepare to die, asshole. <laughs> Get out of here. His one contribution. All right, time to heal you. Appreciate it. It's just not my day. Prepare to die. Out of my way. Ah, things are looking up. Let's keep going and save the others. Oh uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> We've already done that. Also, by the way, prepare to die. Sorry, but victory is mine. Hi, how's it going? Fix the name, and you, you're about to die. Hey? So, uh, later. Kill Not good enough. Jesus. Alright. Alright, only one left. I think they got this. Not so fast. That was over. Cyril, Professor, thank you. You bet. I'm gonna drop by my family's estate and complain to my brother a bit. You two should head back. You're all of the Goneril soldiers. Hexlux shield. Actually. A shield offering strong protection and resilience. Large bullion. That's it. Only took four turns to do that. Compared to the usual. Going over Valkyries. Elmira Mercenaries. That's all the parallax we can do at the moment. They aren't really trying to cross Fodlan's throat. I'm not saying they're not serious, but fights like this one aren't really invasions. Then what are they doing? They just start fights like this sometimes. It's so they can show off how strong they are. I think it's pretty dumb. I mean, people are getting killed. And why? So some guy can think he's tough? After every fight, they do a big feast, and everybody eats and dances, and there's music. It's supposed to honor the dead, but I figure they just like to make noise. I think they're all idiots, but if I'm real honest, it wasn't the worst way to live life. Feeling homesick? Nah, I'm where I belong now, and I don't really like Almira. If they want to show how tough they are, then they ought to look after kids who've lost their parents. I'm tired. Professor, Cyril, thanks for all your help. You get a chance to see your brother? 
I did. Though I think I'd be better off otherwise. He was horribly ill, for one thing. He looked so pale and haggard. Apparently, he'd eaten a bad mushroom before the battle, and it made him horribly sick. What an idiot. Anyway, when I told him we'd handled the Almiran situation, he was just gushing with praise. I tried telling him that it wasn't all me, but he didn't even listen. Weren't you glad to get praise from your brother? That did feel pretty good, I'll admit. But then things got awkward. He started trying to pawn off his whole inheritance. I told him I wanted none of it. Eventually, he settled for foisting this thing on me. Do you know what it is? One heck of an axe. He gave it to you? Yes. It's a magic axe called Frykugel. It's the hero's relic of House Goneril. He said that I should have it, since the crest I bear will allow me to wield it. He was so insistent, I eventually relented. But I don't think I can be responsible for something so precious. Hey, Professor, why don't you take it instead? Why me? Heroes' relics contain terrifying power. They're beyond the capabilities of a novice like me. You're the only person I trust to take care of it. Please, help me out here. If you really think it's necessary... Thank you so much. I honestly didn't know what I was going to do with this thing. A big scary axe is not my style. She says yes, using axes. Closely. Parts of the axe are pulsating like it's alive. How gross is that? But I'll use it if you tell me to, Professor. Or you could get somebody else to wield it if you like. It's all up to you now. That Hilda, she really is something. the day there then we'll just get into into the battle Listen up, everyone. The Imperial Army is upon us. If you can fight, pick up a weapon. Everyone else, hurry up and evacuate. We have the Goddess's protection on our side. We have nothing to fear. Victory will be ours. Professor, are you ready? Almost. Well, hurry up. I don't need to tell you that the situation is dire. We have some support troops from the local nobles, but the army we're facing is immense. No matter how you look at it, we're at a disadvantage. To make matters worse, the enemy is being led by Edelgard. Do not underestimate how extraordinary her abilities are. She's back already? Talk about impatient. If we don't stop them, the academy will be destroyed. Prepare for battle, everyone! We will stop Edelgard's rampage! Our opponent is formidable. But if we work together, we will not fail. Enough talking. Let's go! Dear Goddess, please protect us all. I shall fight with all that I have. It is an honor to fight alongside each of you. Professor, Claude, you'll lead the way, won't you? You won't let any of us fall, right? <sighs> I wanted to talk to Rhea first. But as expected, that won't be possible. What did she hope to accomplish at the Holy Tomb? What happened to you as a baby? There are still so many things I need to know. The same goes for the real origin of the Crest Stones and the Hero's Relics. As for Seros and Nemesis, just how much of their mythology is true? 
We know you so little. It's true. But lucky for me, I refuse to die with so much still unknown. Hey, Teach. All joking aside, can we possibly survive this battle? We'll find a way. That's all we can do, right? If we gave up, the god of fate wouldn't be happy. I'm a lot of things, but I'm not the kind of man to just roll over and die in a place like this. I have my own ambitions to see to. There are things, dreams, that I must see come to fruition. And I've been thinking, I want you to see those dreams realized as well. On top of all that, there are still so many secrets out there just waiting to be uncovered. We can't let that stand, can we? So, Teach, no, scratch that. You're so much more. You're my ally and my friend. Teach, friend, none of those words quite capture what you've come to mean to me. We may not be connected by blood, but I believe our bond goes deeper than that. Now that we know each other, our hearts are connected. Even if our paths diverge and we're forced to say goodbye, I know that we'll meet again. And so, for lack of a better word, I gratefully call you my friend. And I hold fast to the belief that this isn't it for us. No matter who or what you really are, I'll always be on your side. You can't count on much in this world, but you can count on that. Got some supports. Oh, Cyril too. Hey there, Cyril. You're working hard as usual. Nah, just doing my job. Rhea herself gives you your daily tasks, doesn't she? The church employs a lot of people, but not too many of them can claim they get to speak with the archbishop every day. You should be proud of yourself. She clearly values your work ethic. Hey, um, is that everything you wanted to say? Cause I'm kind of busy here. Actually, I was hoping to ask you about Rhea. There's so much we don't know about her, but I thought maybe you... Yeah, I know more about Lady Rhea than anybody. But why should I tell you anything about her? So cold. Think about who you're talking to. Huh? What are you to me? You... Don't know who I am? Of course I do. You're Claude, house leader of the Golden Deer. That's not what I mean. <laughs> well, never mind then. Tell me, don't you ever miss your homeland? Almira? Yes, Almira. Uh, judging by that expression, I'm guessing you're not terribly homesick. Life was a whole lot harder for me there than it's ever been around here. My dad and mom both died in the war. And there was nobody there to look after me. The king, he didn't do anything to help. So I had to survive by being smart. I had to stop being a kid real quick. I'm sorry to hear that. You don't have to apologize. It's not your fault. Regardless of whose fault it is, I'm still sorry. I'm sorry that I didn't even know that an acquaintance of mine was suffering. And sorry for asking a tactless question about your homeland. I should have known that it was likely to bring back bad memories. Nah, I get sad or mad when I think about it, but I'm used to it, so I don't mind any. I see that. Even still, I apologize for being careless. Okay, well, thanks, Claude. If the King of Almira was like you, maybe things would have been better. Maybe the King's not a bad person and just had other stuff to worry about, but that's not much of an excuse. <laughs> If I ever meet the King of Almira, I'll give him a stern talking to on your behalf. Yeah, okay. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. Bunch of things to get done. You really are on the other side now, aren't you? Huh. Well, if nothing else, it's good of you to turn a blind eye to me. I don't know what that means, but okay. Bye, Claude. <laughs> That's it. All right, time for battle. We're more than ready for this.
right, who are we going to bring? Let's bring Leone. We need a... We need a horse rider. Death Knight. Let's find out who we'll put here. Got Hubert. I'm a little hour late from here. Hey, Red, how's it going? Finally fixed that that frame rate problem I've been having. Yeah, and you're also here just in time for a big fight. Dealing with the Death Knight, Hubert, uh, Randolph. <laughs> we have no idea about who he is about, so uh, we're gonna fight him. And of course, Edelgard. Because now we know know who is leading the army. Oh, and Les Lava. We got a lot of people to fight. <laughs> Little did you know, she's actually actually the main the main villain. Actually, we don't know that for sure. <laughs> on that one but here's the problem this guy right here so I have to do I need you to be here because then you can just come over here everyone's inventory
Barrett. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Come back. All right. Let's get the show on the road. Well, you're just fall in battle. Rhea falls in battle, or the defended location is captured. I have a report. The enemy is within the walls. They're about to break the defensive line. We have two priorities for this battle. Protect the Archbishop and maintain the defensive line. Reinforcements should arrive soon, so just hold your ground until then. Alright, so we got this right here. This I forget how this fucking said it apparently. Oh, it's one of ours. Never mind, we're good. But we should take out this guy here over here. And then there's we have this over here. That's a whole no, whole another problem. All right, let's do this. I got this. Okay. Leave it to me. Just do this. And it's dead. <laughs> Done. I have to try harder. With that Edelgard, definitely. Hey, how's it going? Ready to get punched in the face? Strength in action. Better than before. All right, we don't have to worry about this guy over here, since he can't even really attack. And we got this guy to worry about. Stay focused. I'm gonna take care of right this second. Done. That is that. Fixed. Who me? Sure thing. Here you go over here. Ready and willing. No, I see what it did. Wow, that took up took out the entire that's our part of the shield. All right, <laughs> good, very good. Uh, who else can we at this point? Here we go. Maybe down over here. Let's get to it. Let's come down. Here for now. Uh. 
unpredictable. What the fuck? Okay. Thank God that wasn't any of mine. Oh, that's adorable. Another way. Crescent sickle. Wow, he survived! Adorable. Rit. You fought well. I'll grow as strong as I can. Thanks for the help. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. <laughs> yeah, he's the big priority right now. Report. The enemy has taken the entrances where the reinforcements were heading. So long as we can recapture the east and west strongholds, we might be able to call in the reinforcements. Let's work on your practice. Will work, but you need another lecture. <laughs> Indeed. Take care of this asshole. Take care of this bitch. Dead. Not taking. Not having you take out my artillery. Meanwhile, Alfred will go down here. Also, anywhere I can hide. What did I expect? Yeah, just take him out. Never underestimate an outsider. Watch and learn. Mm. 
adorable. Stronger. He looks like Garland. <laughs> no hesitation. Meanwhile, <laughs> as expected. Ow! They do a lot of a lot more damage than expected. You didn't give it your all. And he's level 34. <laughs> I'm not setting a very good example. Alright. We should be able to dodge better. Yes. Get him. Also get him. Yeah, we're not losing him. Don't worry. Thank you. There's a reason why we have two healers. <laughs> Alright, you. Can just stop that right now. So, uh, get punched in the face. As expected. Get out of here. That takes care of that. Oh, you still move. Oh, where are you? Okay. Whatever. He's gonna die anyway, so... Face it, I'm better than you. There's the death knight. I might as well heal you. Thanks. No damage. Yeah, here. You and your silver weapons. Another one down. Gotta keep improving. Alright, Death Knight, prepare yourself. Ooh, I have a better idea for this. Fifty-nine percent of a crit rate. Let's go. This fight is but a sideshow to the ravaging of the sacred place that is Garrick Mark. 
Fuck yes. Down you go. The time is not right. I will wait for the next opportunity. I can feel the difference. Dark Seal. We took back one of the strongholds. On to the next. Okay, we could still beat him, right? <laughs> they may be having second thoughts. No choice but to distinguish myself in this fight. No damage. that I'm not even fighting you with full power too that's the thing Allow me to demonstrate. should I have held back oh adorable <laughs> what was I so worried about you Both of the strongholds. Let's keep up the momentum. I'm finished. I'm no 
loath to say it, but I must retreat. This'll make the job easier. Randolph is not too late to come back. We don't have to work with the bad guys. That's the thing, we don't know they're the bad guys. But they did start the war, so we got fight back. She's moving. So is less lava. Okay, just move. Too easy. Just come help me! That's yeah. done. is mine. So are you. Not too shabby. I'll never be satisfied. changed forever by her majesty now i lay it on the line for the empire it's over for the empire huh lady edelgard i'm so sorry i can't keep going i must retreat Good 
should have stayed where you were. Should have trained better. Now you. Hmm. Only match it is then. I wish you were someone whose heart could be swayed by my words and deeds. If it were so, I would have done anything to make you my ally. This is why you're doing this to me! Ugh. Hurts like a bitch. That's cute. <laughs> Yeah, fight my healer. <laughs> fight my healer that you can't do any damage to. No hesitation. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Never mind. Can't do shit to him. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Thank God. <laughs> Good job. Oh god. How about I do something? Uh, never mind. I'm not do not doing gambit apparently, cause that's not gonna do shit. All right, let's see here. What would be my best option? Come to regret raising your blade against the Emperor of the Adrestian Empire. Let's try. That's the Fuck yes, let's go. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Thank you, Leone. Saved Alfred. But now your fight is over. Send in our reserve troops and give my uncle the signal. What is this? <laughs> no, that was Leone that did it. Everybody here, young and old, is in your hands. <sighs> no, 
I will not allow another Red Canyon tragedy to happen here. Dragon! She was a dragon this whole time. What is going on? <laughs> Bye, buildings. What now? <clears throat> a dragon? No, tell me we're dealing with a dragon. If only I had some sort of glider! <laughs> In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hressfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garrig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender. Archbishop Rhea commanded the Knights of Seros, leading from the front lines against the Imperial Army. But amidst the chaos of battle, she vanished, and her whereabouts remain unknown. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Lester Alliance. The unification of Fodland has begun. And that's chapter 12. Part 2. Verdant Wind. Ethereal Moon. Reunion at Dawn. It is Imperial Year 1185. Nearly five years have passed since the fall of the monastery at Garrig Mach, and war continues to plague the lands of Fodlan. Ferdiad has been captured. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in shambles. The Leicester Alliance is on the verge of collapse, fractured by two opposing factions, those who support the Adrestian Empire and its ruler, and those who seek her demise. Meanwhile, under Emperor Edelgard's rule of law, the Adrestian Empire continues to expand its reach. The path to a new Fodlan, unified by Imperial strength, may yet be in sight. Hey buddy, how's it going? You. How long do you intend to sleep? Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now. And you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. 
As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. In order to survive, they kill. And so, the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. It's going. I would have been here early, but Twitch be stupid. It has to be like that sometimes. I'm still sleepy. Uh, you are a complete and utter fool. Have you not changed one bit? <laughs> Get on your feet. Right now. I'll coddle you no more. You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Hey, are, are you awake? Yeah, yeah, I actually woke up to that news. I heard, I heard the qu the queen is the queen the queen died. I'm like Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth, <laughs> and of course I was right. Where am I? We are in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrick Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. What do you mean? Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Though, there have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. Anyway, I've heard some thieves have been spotted around those parts these days. Sending rue and charms and chits for good vibes and thoughts. Yeah. Good vibes. What year is it? Um, are you feeling all right? You didn't hit your head or anything, did you? It's the ethereal moon of the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Tomorrow was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? The Millennium Festival? Uh, yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing and all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? The monastery. Are you crazy? I, I told you. They say thieves are running amok up there. And there's plenty of other dangers, too. Come on, I, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. You just remember I tried to stop you. Got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. No need to worry about me. Unbelievable. I am level thir 34. I'm f I got this. Even though I almost died in the last fight. <laughs> Overslept, Teach. Pretty rude to keep a fellow waiting like that, wouldn't you say? What's with that surprised look, my friend? You didn't really think I'd given up on you coming back, did you? Can you feel it? A new dawn is finally here. Not just for us, though. No. For all of Fodra. It's been five long years. Where have you been, Teach? You don't really expect me to believe that you've been napping this whole time, do you? Uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> I was sleeping. It's <laughs> a good one. Except that's not your lying face. I guess I've got no choice but to believe you. You're not exactly normal to begin with, so it's not a huge stretch to imagine you sleeping for that long. And this is where you say, just kidding, right? If this is a rib, now's the time to fess up. Compared to, to what Link is, 
how long Link slept for? This is nothing. It's the truth. She must be insane, and yet... Ah, oh, fine. I believe you, okay? But that means you don't know anything that happened after your last battle, right? I guess it's on me to catch you up. As you can see, Garrick Mach was crushed by the Empire and was never restored. The monastery is in ruins and the town is in pretty bad shape too. Can you guess why? Rhea has been sleeping too? Hmm. It would seem that's one possible explanation, since you insist that's what you've been up to. All we know for sure is that Rhea suddenly vanished during that battle five years ago. The Knights of Seros have apparently been searching all over Fodlin for her. But the fact that this place is in ruins tells me they still haven't found her. We must find her. True. I've got a mountain of questions I'd like to ask her after all. But I'm not so sure whether it would be good for her to return as the Archbishop. Rather, with her gone... Yeah, five years. Uh, never mind. This could be a dangerous conversation. Before we discuss the state of affairs in each territory, are you hungry? You must be. It's not much, but I did bring some food with me. Let's eat up and go from there. Whew, I am stuffed. Even the most humble of meals taste great with the right company. By the way, Teach, do you remember the night before the ball? I know it was five years ago, but we promised that the Golden Deer House would reunite during the Millennium Festival. Today's the day we promised to meet up, but no one's here. It's still early. True. There's still some daylight left. <clears throat> Let's wait just a little longer. You never know, maybe someone will show up after all. Hey, Teach. Just waiting around sounds boring, so why don't we get in some exercise? You know, help with digestion and stuff. You must be in bad shape if you've been sleeping for five years. It'll do you good to get your body moving again. You want to work out? Something like that. Look, if you come with me, you'll understand. Oh, and don't forget your weapons, okay? I want to make sure neither your leadership nor your skill with a blade have dulled. <clears throat> In the holy kingdom of Fargus, Imperial Loyalist Cornelia has subdued all regions of the former royal house of Bladed to prevent further revolt. Prince well, considering Dimitri Link slept for a hundred years, now the backbone of five the years is kingdom, nothing. Houses Gatier and Fraldarius struggle to continue the resistance. Cornelia, operating out of the royal palace, has accepted the support of the Empire to build an army and plots to wipe out all remaining kingdom forces. In the Leicester Alliance, House Regan leads an anti-imperial faction, while House Gloucester directs the Empire supporters. Despite the undeniable threat of fracture, the Alliance's adept new leader, Claude, deftly maintains the outward appearance of a unified front. In Enbar, the imperial capital of the Adrestian Empire, Emperor Edelgard fights to strengthen her regime. She has extended her reach to the kingdom by inciting a coup continues to draw its former lords under her influence in pursuit of controlling all of Western Fodlin. In the meantime, the Knights of Seros have been dispatched to find Archbishop Rhea, who remains missing despite their searching. Left unattended, the monastery at Garag Mach has fallen to ruin and become a haven for thieves.
The thieves are here. Apparently they're trying to run off with treasures from the monastery. What the? Intruders! Protect the goods! No, it's you again. This is gonna get expensive. Collect everything the thieves carried out. Uh, it's just us two. But you got it. Alright. Let's see. We got Archer over here. Archer over here. So it's here. Here. Also here. So he, he's on Wyvern now. At the ready. Don't question it. <laughs> A fitting outcome. I'm that much closer to my goal. Yeah, this time he's part of the main story. What's my strategy? My strategy is to punch! I must lead them well. And one. Hey, how's it going? Ready to get punched? Another victory. I'll use this power for the greater good. Hey, how's it going? Sorry, but I must. It won't be in vain. Watch and learn. Oh, hey, the barbarity is even worse than the rumors. On my honor as a noble, I will expel these ruffians. Today was supposed to be a happy day, but the monastery is in such disrepair. Over there, is that the professor and the others? Professor, you're alive! Guess we better handle this before I celebrate, though, huh? <laughs> you finally made it! I suppose virtue still exists in this crazy world after all. Now we got more allies. Both the Klotz. Klotz is now... a Wyvern Master. As a wife or master, she still keeps the extra. Hold on. He doesn't, but I'll keep him as is.
steady now. Shall we? We shall! Now Lauren's hair is less stupid. Jesus. <laughs> All is going to plan. Yep. Since he, he is he has he, he is writing a wyvern, he's now weak to do bows. <laughs> Which is funny because he's using a bow. <laughs> Fell not, it's the only weapon he has that gives him an extra extra reach. A fitting outcome. Silver Sword. Adorable. Too easy. Hold a grudge if you must. Oh my god. That's a cool animation though. He literally does a backflip. So dead. <laughs> Give it a shot. Don't underestimate us. Oh. Nice. <laughs> and about to die. Why did he have a leather shield? <laughs> Let's see. Have you come over here?
right. Oh, hey. Is that the, the rest of them? And everyone else? If they're fighting. I gotta go help. Wow. It's you. Here, I thought you were dead all this time. And our healer. Could that be the professor's ghost? Hey, you're late. Hurry up and help. All right, time to punch you in the face. Here is something to believe in. I must lead them well. Now the door key. Dismount so you get rid of that weakness. I don't remember if I ever explained that. Strategy in motion. A fitting outcome. Yeah, as long as you dismount, you can get rid of the weakness for certain units. Like flying, for example, you can get off of your fl your mount that flies, get rid of the bow weakness. But other units cannot get rid of their their weaknesses, such as the <laughs> such as the arm armored units. Leave it to me. Wait a minute. Did I just fuck up? <laughs> Big in inconvenience right now for both of them. This will take some strategy. Hmm. We could. 
could split into two groups. If we hit them from the north and south, we can trap their leader in a pincer attack. Didn't fuck up. No. That helps. Yeah, even when <laughs> when Lysithia was weakened, she still one shots them. <laughs> you a question why he has an axe I do not know Didn't work last time. <laughs> God damn it. Of course it's poisoned. Damn Venbo. You know what? Fail not your ass. <laughs> Fuck you. Sorry, but I must. The weak fall, the strong live. Professor, it's been too long. I do want to chat, but first let's handle these criminals. Yeah, got it. So, uh, finish them off. <sighs> Still alive. Yeah. 
did it. Two, three, four chests. So uh, let's get to work on that, really, don't we? First, we gotta deal with this poison. Convoy. Here's that steel sword for now. Any toxin? We have 13 of these! There we go. Problem solved. There's more work to be done. You have you have a chest key, so you might as well go for this chest over here. Much to discuss, but first, let us dispense with the riffraff. It is a noble's duty after all. Learn. We got these assholes to worry about. Take care of you. There we go. Another victory. We got the hard hitter out of the way. I'm getting the hang of this. You out of the way. Yes, it is one one of the one of the weapons. Uh, Bail not is a hero's relic. 
Minecraft of Regan, so this goes to Claw. This player can use Fallen Star. Another chest key. I'll go that way for now. Slayer. But the weird still the same when we mowed all their army down. Uh, we that's pretty much what we did. <laughs> But I'll give it a try anyway. Trade. Yeah, I can. Good. Chest key. And give you heal. Why not? Appreciate it. Except you can Vasara, that is hard to pronounce. The fuck? Toxin. Uh, die. Here is something to believe in. 
Jesus! It won't be in vain. Good lord! Now Jeski! And there's a reason for that. And I'd rather he'd be chilling there. Alfred literally just went Omaiwa oh, Moshinderu. <laughs> And with the sword of the creator, no less. Silver Lance. Sacred weapon. Press the bluster. That restores HP every turn. That increased with crest. You're the one, dorky. That's it! <laughs> That's the conversation! Good talk! Kurt's a shy sword. This blade inflicts five damage on its wielder after combat in exchange for its high critical hit rate. All right, I'll never use it, but all right. <laughs> God damn it, Red! All right, I think that's all the chests. Yep, it's all of them. Time to finish this. No, I'm not the one you want. Uh, I guess I've got no choice. Good. Yeah, basically. It isn't looking good for us. Should we retreat? And you can pass them! So he revealed his true identity. Catch him and recover the treasure. All of you do is fall in battle, or the enemy commander reaches a target destination. Alright! <laughs> yes, this is what we're doing. It's not a good escape. It was a team effort. Yeah, no matter how much damage you do, that's that's gonna happen no matter what. Let's play a prank on him. Oh, 
right. Can't deal with the steps! Fuck. I'll pro play a prank on him. This is gonna be funny. Hi, how's it going? First. Ah, you should yield me a tidy profit. Defense should have went down. No strength. Not that I needed that. Damn for damn for a good comedy joke. Sublime have haven. Heaven. That's a lot of damage. Let's do it. Not my best. Always have for more defense. Speed ring? That's I it. thought it would be easy money. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. We took care of that. Are you sufficiently warmed up, Teach? Yep, he's dead for real this time. What gives, Professor? <sighs> I was so excited to see everyone again, and then this happens. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty so cursed. From the long journey. How did it come to this? Let's all take a moment to catch our breath. Mm, if you've got the spare time to play with those guys, the least you could do is prepare some tea. Thanks for your help. We were hoping someone would come to back us up when we started routing the bandits. It seems they've been taking advantage of the church's absence and doing whatever they please here. In any case, um, I'm glad that all of you are well. That's the spirit, Marianne. That was fun. In fact, I wouldn't mind romping around some more. So, you were alive this whole time, Professor. I am not surprised. In fact, that is why I came here. And it doesn't look like time has rusted your skills. That's a relief. I'm just glad everyone's alive and well. On that note, let's move this reunion party somewhere else. Now that we've dealt with those violent bandits, we could potentially use this place as our base of operations again. What could you possibly mean by that? I'm talking about the Leicester Alliance taking over Garrett Mock Monastery. After all, it's right in the middle of Foden. It's a critical strategic location. Are you suggesting that we fight back against the Empire? Aren't you getting a bit ahead of yourself? The Alliance is in complete discord at present. And, as leader of the Imperial faction of the Alliance, isn't Count Gloucester, your father, the main cause of that discord? I... Yes, that is true. It was inevitable. Our house's territory is close to Imperial land, after all. Had we not consented to vassalage under the Empire, they would have invaded immediately. Naturally. And, to be clear, I have no problem with your house maintaining its imperial ties until we're sufficiently prepared to revolt. The Empire is the cause of the infighting. If we rid ourselves of them, the situation should resolve itself. That's why I'm thinking we should make this our base, raise up an army, and stir up some trouble for the Empire. Now you're talking. Sounds like fun! So then, Mr. Leader Man, does this mean you intend to rope us into your little scheme? Laser man. Hmm? Ah, my grandfather passed away. That means yours truly is officially the leader of the Alliance. If we had a more reliable leader, perhaps the Alliance would not have been divided. Think what you will. All I need to know is if you're in or you're out. 
I'm happy to lend a hand. I won't let those Imperial dogs set foot in Alliance territory. I couldn't bear it if my village got caught up in the chaos of war. I'll fight too. I've got to protect my little sis. I will join as well. After all, House Ordelia was once dragged into an Imperial revolt. It ruined us. Ah, uh, of course. I understand your motivation. I'll fight too. It's time to take responsibility for my own future. I... I don't want to run anymore. I hope I'll be of use to everyone. We can do anything if we work together, Marianne. What about you, Lawrence? Are you going to go back home to your scary father or what? We cannot rely on Claude's scheming to lead us to victory. Therefore, I will remain. It is my duty to ensure Claude does not worsen the situation in the Alliance. All of us are fighting for a different reason, but we share a common enemy. If we don't act, the Empire will crush us eventually. I say we stop them before they have the chance. So, Teach, will you help as well? I'd rather search for Rhea than fight. All the more reason to join us. Admit it, you're not going to be able to do much on your own. With you on our side, the Church will join us as well. That makes fighting the Empire a moral cause, which means it'll be easier to rally support. Above all, your knowledge and strength are indispensable if we hope to stand a chance against the Imperial Army. Without you, my schemes are nothing. Just words. Please, take all of that into consideration as you decide. You're really laying it all on the table, aren't you, Claude? Well, all that aside, this place is a mess. We can't very well make our base in a ruin. And repairing it sounds like a lot of work. I wonder if anyone would be willing to help us out with that. You were alive all this time? Yo, how's it going? Professor, it is so good to see you again. My brother and I were worried about you. Oh, thank the goddess. I couldn't bear the thought of letting Gerald down by not finding you. Guess he lucked out. We've been looking everywhere for you. But I see Lady Rhea isn't with you. Damn. Everyone was real worried about you, Professor. Cyril? Is that you? You've grown up, kid. Have you been looking for Rhea with the knights? Of course. Without Lady Rhea, I don't belong anywhere. Cyril, that's not... Never mind. We'll figure it all out. Oh my. The Golden Deer House is together again at last. And all grown up. Well, for the most part. I do regret that we were never able to hold a proper graduation for all of you students. How is the search for Rhea's progress in? It has been five years since Lady Rhea disappeared. We have devoted all of our energies to finding her. However, without being able to set foot in Empire territory, we are at a standstill. We had hoped that perhaps the Archbishop would return here on this day. That of the long-awaited Millennium Festival. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be the case. Though I don't suppose you had very high hopes in that regard. Even if she were able to return here, with the monastery in ruins, I don't think she would have felt safe enough to do so. Right, Hilda? Yeah! This is an important location for the church. To think you left it in such a state. It's a danger to the locals, too. That's true. Perhaps we've left it alone for too long. We've got to make things right. I can clean this place up like new. It's not fit for Lady Rhea like this. And leaving this place in ruins affects the safety of this area, too. Agreed. There is also a great deal of valuable literature here. Then let's do it. If we all work together, we can restore the monastery to its original beauty. We will require the aid of skilled craftsmen, too. I shall seek out any such individuals who are willing to return to Garrick Mock. Fantastic! I'll figure out how to split up the work, and then we can get started. I don't know if that's a good idea. Unless you're actually serious.
Part 2. Verdant Wind. Guardian Moon. The Alliance Leader's Ambitions. Claiming the monastery at Garrig Mach as its home base, the Alliance Army joins forces with the Knights of Seros. Together, they begin to take up arms against the Adrestian Empire. Each unit has grown over the past five years. You should check their classes and weapons. Good work, Hilda. You didn't do much manual labor, but you managed to rope the knights into helping us restore the monastery. Thanks, Claude. But all I did was piggyback on your scheme. I saw your eyes telling me to make some magic happen. Thank you so much for your help with the restoration. Oh, please, it was nothing. Are you sure? It's We're just doing our still kind of looks like machines. shit. I'm told you even routed the bandits. That job should have fallen to us. I'm sorry for the trouble. Hey, don't think twice about it. We're all allies in the resistance against the Empire, right? The Church is at war with the Empire, but let's be realistic. Wouldn't it be better for the Alliance to eventually submit? The way I see it, the Emperor wants to take over all of Fodlan and destroy the existing order of the world. I can't see her allowing the Alliance to continue to exist. We're in this just as deeply as you are. Actually, we were hoping to use this place as a base. The Empire begs to be meddled with, and we're first in line. What? Why would you want to make your base here of all places? Garrick Mach is situated in the center of Fodlan, both geographically and spiritually. We want to secure this location while the Empire is still overlooking it. I see. The Empire doesn't see this place as important at the moment because it's far from the front lines. But if we simply decide that it's ours to occupy, that does nothing to inspire the hearts and minds of the people of Fodlan. Luckily, good old Teach has finally returned to us. If the Professor Rhea entrusted with the Sword of the Creator fights at our side, well now, that's a just cause anyone could get behind. What's more, here we are, working alongside the legendary Knights of Saros. It smacks of divine providence, doesn't it? Can you feel it? I have heard what you have to say, Claude. And you, Professor? Where do you stand? I will fight the Empire. Hmm. On our own, we lack sufficient military strength. But with the help of the Alliance... The Archbishop said if anything should happen to her, that we should entrust the affairs of the Church to you. If you intend to fight alongside the Alliance, then I will follow you as well. Is that acceptable, Claude? Of course. I can't think of anything more reassuring than having both Teach and the Knights on our side. Together, we'll stop the Emperor and her reckless ambitions. You have allies which can take master exams. Take a look at the certifications as a review which they can take. A master seal! Unfortunately, Alfred cannot take any of them. <laughs> Who can, though? Well, you kind of can. Felix cannot, it's still learning magic. We're not going to worry about that for now. Uh, who have. Oh, alright. 
Uh, we'll worry about those ports after the break. I really need need a break right now, cause cause we hit the two hour and twenty four minute mark. So as I hit intermission, I need to go to the bathroom. Head to the bathroom. And, well, need to get uh, make sure you get up, <laughs> cause. Seeing for too long is not healthy. So, I'll be running one minute ads. And I'll be right back. Alright, and I'm back. 
Now then, let's continue the game. We got some supports to get through. Oh, do you have an itch back there? I guess you can't scratch it on your own, can you? Hi, Marianne. <gasps> oh, Claude, it's just you. Sorry, I know you're in the middle of an important discussion with Dorte, but could I talk to you? About what? It's about this thing you think you're burdened with. I've tried to guess what it is. Please don't. This is making me a little uncomfortable. There's no reason to feel uncomfortable. It's not like I plan on saying it aloud. But if my guess is correct, there's something I want to tell you. Will you hear me out? Fine. I will listen. Once upon a time, in a faraway place. What the... Are you telling me a story? Just listen. Once upon a time, in a faraway place, there was a young boy. This boy came from a despised lineage. In short, his mother was a daughter of the enemy. So the young boy was treated horribly by everyone around him. He hadn't done anything wrong. Everyone hated him simply for existing. Yelling, fighting back, explaining himself. Nothing he did could change his situation. When he was finally old enough, he ran far away from home. He escaped. It sounds to me like he had no choice. I would have done the same had it been me. Thing is, after he ran away, he still found himself in the very same position. People in the outside world hated him for where he came from. Well, now that's... The boy thought he had no place to go. All he could do was destroy the boundary between the inside and the outside worlds. Destroy the boundaries? Right. If there was no outside and inside, just one side to share, then the people outside wouldn't have a reason to hate him anymore, right? It wouldn't be easy, but if he managed it, he could shrug off that burden. The point is, people are born with burdens to carry. That much is undeniable. But whether they bind us or we cast them aside, that's up to us. So I think you should try to cast yours aside, Marianne. Put that heavy burden down. It's time. But I... I don't know if I can do it. It's okay. I'm here for you. We're the same, and I can help you. The same? <laughs> Claude, we have nothing in common. Hey, did you see that, Dorte? Your friend just smiled at me. Thank you for sharing your story. I suppose I could try casting aside burden, as you say. We can try together. Let's do that. And when we're free, we can change the whole world. Um, Hilda? I wanted to thank you for helping me in the infirmary. I brought you these pastries. Ooh, thanks. I'll put some tea on. Have a seat. That sounds lovely. But I also wanted to apologize for always causing you such trouble. It's no trouble. No trouble at all. Everything tastes better with friends, don't you think? I give you help. You give me sweets, we have a little tea party. It's a good arrangement, I'd say. I'm used to it now, so if it changed suddenly, I would feel disoriented. I suppose if you're enjoying yourself, then it can't be that bad. Sure, you don't seem to mind listening while I gab, so I'm enjoying myself plenty. But do let me know if I'm too boring. No, no, you're not boring at all. In fact, you're, um... Very good at talking. You're also good with your hands. You can clean and organize better than almost anyone. I envy you. Oh, stop. I'm blushing. I'm not as great as all that. We're both a lot different on the inside than we look on the outside, don't you think? How do you mean? People who see you think you're so proper, but you're actually clumsy. That's why I help you, because there are some things you just can't do. I'm sorry you always have to clean up after me. 
I didn't say I hated it. In fact, you've taught me a few new techniques I can use to persuade people. Maybe I'll start imitating you a little bit. I'll do the Marianne. That sheepish, sorry, and those quavering downcast eyes. But that might not work as well for me. People would probably assume that I'd hit my head. Oh, well. <laughs> Aw, Mary Ann laughing at me. <laughs> so rude and yet so adorable. I'm so sorry. I just can't help it. When I imagine you doing those things, I... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's rather unhilda like I'll admit. <clears throat> okay, that's enough laughing. <laughs> I'm so... <laughs> so so sorry. <laughs> hey, uh, are you alright? That tea's hot, Marianne. Be careful. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, ouch, hot. Come on, what did I just say? I know, I'm sorry. Ow, 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 hot. Oh boy, a real steady hand, that Marianne. It's nice to see her laugh. Sure, she was laughing at me, but how can I get mad when she looks so dang cute? <laughs> Yes, well done, buddy. You didn't miss much. We're just going through supports, it, as you can see. I feel like I'm drowning in responsibilities. <laughs> Take my mind off. Now. Regale me with another of your weird childhood stories. Okay, then. How about an old story from a foreign land that my dad told me when I was a kid? Once upon a time, there was a white camel that got separated from his herd. <laughs> I'm so happy for that white camel. I really thought he was gonna die. Was that story really worth bawling your eyes out over? <laughs> it was wonderful. Don't you know how moving that story is? You know, I never thought much of it until today. But seeing you bawling like that, I do appreciate it a little more now. What's that mean? Well, you're always fake crying, aren't you? Getting all misty-eyed to make people think you're a delicate flower. What? You're awful! I only cry when I'm sad. Claim what you like, but I can spot real tears from fake tears any day of the week. Fess up. <laughs> if you understand me so well, Maybe it's because you're no different. How's that? When you smile or laugh, it's not sincere. I can tell. I've only seen you genuinely smile a handful of times. Like when you're talking to the professor. Wow, good one, Hilda. You hit me right in the gut. I guess you're right. I'm not so different from you in that way. But how did you come to realize that? Have you been watching me that closely? I'm afraid so. My eyes seem to wander toward you of their own accord. What? <laughs> Hold on. Forget I said that. I didn't say that. <coughs> nope, no can do. Forgetting isn't something this crafty brain of mine is capable of. Besides, my eyes have a tendency to wander in your direction too. How else do you think I found out about your fake crying? Huh? What are you getting at? Say, Hilda, once everything settled down, do you want to come meet my parents? I mean, don't get the wrong idea, you just seem interested in my family. Besides, you've opened up to me quite a bit, but I still haven't let you in on my own secrets. If you meet my parents, I think you'll understand, though it might come as a bit of a surprise. Your family? I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Well then, if neither of us changes our minds before the opportunity presents itself, let's agree to go visit my home together. Although, if it's a long journey, my brother might not be too happy. True, that might be a tough nut to crack. As tough as Fodlan's locket. Where is that darn ladder? Need help with something, Lysithia? I can't find the ladder anywhere, and 
and I needed to check out the books up on that top shelf. Want me to just grab one for you? No. I need to be able to dig around myself. No problem. You could sit on my shoulders instead. Up you go. Uh oh. Hang on a sec. That's not. <laughs> she sounds like a I mouse. Hope saw that. Anyway, thank you. That was helpful. I can't believe how many fantastic books were hidden just out of reach up there. Thanks for being so patient while I rummaged. No problem at all. It was my pleasure. Hey, Raphael. You're always extra nice to me. Is it because I remind you of your sister Maya? Yeah. I can't help but think about her whenever I see you around. We lost our parents when she was still real little. So, she never had adults around to do stuff for her. That's probably why she grew up to be the kind of kid who wants to do everything on her own. That's certainly something I can relate to. I keep telling her that it's okay to rely on her big bro a little bit. Like, when there's stuff she can't do because she's too small. She just needs to ask someone bigger to do it. I told her that she could help me when I'm having trouble with stuff too. Then we would be even. Young or old, we can all help one another out. We each have our strengths and weaknesses. Receiving help and providing help in return. It sounds so simple, really. It is simple! I knew you'd get it. I do. And I hope you understand that you can come to me for help too, Raphael. I can't be the only one receiving aid. It makes me feel incompetent and like a kid. I hate that. Hmm. All right, then. You could help me clean up my room. I bet it's a disaster knowing you. I'll help you on that front, but I've got some rules on how to keep things tidy. You'll need to listen up. If you could help with the actual tidying, that would probably be better. No need to bother with rules. I don't really do so good with remembering the complicated stuff. Oh, I got an idea. It would be even better if you could just come by and tidy up from now on. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> if you keep helping me, then I can help you whenever you need it. No guilt. Whenever I need it, huh? How long does that offer hold? From now on. Like, for always. I don't know what's so difficult to understand. For always sounds nice. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Not what I expected, to be honest. Alright. Time to explore. And we got a lot of quests to do. Good lord. First, to Abyss. Listen up, I've got something to report. It's you. You're still alive. It's been five whole years, hasn't it? Time flies when you're standing guard. <coughs> That's right, I've been here the whole time. Day in and day out. Not like I have anywhere else to be. Looks like the Knights of Saros have returned. I wonder if Mr. Backup is back too. He misses them. What was new? the look of someone relieved to see me before you ask yes my superior spellcraft is yours it's your reward for waiting so patiently for me it would help me a lot your quick acceptance of the truth is gratifying but my assistance has a price I expect you to aid me in fulfilling my dream of restoring house Nouvelle yeah, sure, let's go with that. Alright, what's going on over here? 
past five years have been so chaotic, even the bounty hunters backed off. I kind of miss the chase. I don't have family ties worth fighting for, so these muscles are up for grabs. Use me as you see fit, pal. I'm counting on you. You're a smart one. Just point me at a problem and I'll smash it up for you. If you're worried my skills have dulled from disuse, think again. I've been fighting thieves to stay sharp. Pretty good way of doing it. I've got a favor to ask. It seems some villagers out near Fulton's throat have been having some trouble with thieves lately. Host asks for help dealing with the problem. Mind coming along? And we get Killer Knuckles Plus out of it. Not like we have any parallax to worry about. Right. What's going on over here? You're back finally. I've been waiting for so long. I thought you might have died. But I didn't have anywhere else to go, so I stayed here. Thanks for sticking around. You're welcome. It wasn't easy. I've been kind of lonely. As you might have noticed, we've lost a few people down here. Yeah, dogs are around. So it's cats. <laughs> It's been a while, hasn't it? Are you really so surprised to see me here? I flew here just as soon as I heard you were alive. I care more than you may realize. I'm happy you came. Who are you now? <laughs> I will admit, hearing that does make my heart flutter a bit. So long as our efforts are aligned, I'll happily work alongside you. How oh, does a man look even better than he did before? <laughs> like, seriously. Professor. <laughs> hey now, talk to your childhood friend here. <laughs> oh no. What are you doing here? A lot of folks cleared out once the fighting started. People are saying it was the church that used to keep order around here. But it's Yuri who's saving us from complete chaos. Right, bye. Alright, sit back to the surface. See how everyone is doing. Hey, uh, it's not just for my village that I'm fighting alongside you here, you know. It's also that Captain Gerald asked me, his first and greatest apprentice, to look out for you. Of course, it wouldn't be enough just to keep you alive. It's my duty to make sure you win, too. So do your best, Professor, and count on me to watch your back. Teach me how the ride. This experience is critical. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> it sure is. What the? A country with no king has no future. That's why I made my way here. Professor, don't let me down. Let's forge ahead. Yes, let's. Find me a worthy opponent to battle, and I'll be content. What do you teach me? Teach me a punch? <laughs> I'm not worried about that. Even with the 
church in shambles, we can still pray. The goddess will surely hear our prayers. But still, I hope the church can return to its former beauty someday. Ditch me how to fly. Ditch me how to fly. <laughs> It's like we've gone back in time. When I think that I'll be around you again, all of my sorrows just drift away. Let's do our best together. Mm, yes. I'll at least try not to hold anyone back. Let's work together for the common good, like we did five years ago. It's been fixed up quite a bit, but its battle scars aren't so easily erased. To think that a glorious cathedral with a thousand year history would end up like this. I'll rebuild this place someday. This cathedral is the symbol of Fodlan. Maybe I should paint a picture of the beautiful cathedral of old. Well, I still remember what it looked like. Hey, Bertie. Nothing ever changed. <sighs> At last, I return to my domain, my lonely paradise, my realm of exquisite solitude. <laughs> huh, Professor? Is that um? Is that you? You um? You didn't hear that just now, did you? Hear what? Right. You didn't. Well, I'm good. Hey. What do you got for me, Hilda? I'm pretty headstrong, but Claude could give me a run for my money. I mean, he's dragged the knights into this. You ought to be careful, Professor. You too. Don't worry about me. I'm here because I want to be. Also, because being around my big brother feels like a real chore. Oh, we got two. Excuse me. Could you do me a favor? We're in dire, dire need of some more supplies. Can you help? Excuse me. Could you do me a favor? We're gathering flowers as quickly as we can, but still don't have nearly enough. You think you can help us? Help us. The freer, the better. Right. Do you have time for a request? Fish seems skittish lately, so that every five years in the wake of a storm, a mystery fish appears and eats up all the other fish in the pond. Call it the big one. I thought that was just a legend, though. That's a big one. The mysterious fish of legend has said that appeared in the fishing pond. Oh, you know what we're doing. Time for the prophecy. Challenging to the snare, this ancient fish has swum in the waters of Fulham for countless generations. You've done me a great service. Governor of the big one. 
Now the other fish can rest easy. Assuming, assuming fish rest. Anyway, nice work. On ever seeing you again. Where have you been hiding? Anyway, now that we're reunited in the land of the living, I must fulfill my promise. Right, the promise. That's right. I promised the captain I'd protect you in his stead, and now I'll make good on my word. Teach me. Teach me how to wear armor. <laughs> I love this guy! <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, he's pretty great. And of course, the most important character of all. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. You know, it's such a thrill to be able to greet you like this again. I almost died as well in the battle five years ago. But I won't allow any enemies to get into this place again. I promise you that. Even if the Death Knight shows up. I'll be sure to... Well, for now, I'll keep training so I can eventually feel confident that I can stop him. I love this guy as well! You know, and... There's unrest everywhere these days. All of my fellow merchants seem to be endangered. I hope things go back to normal soon. People need more to smile about, aside from my great deals. Hey, how about a favor? Appreciate it. Man quests are hard. <laughs> Something over here. Thanks so much. You're a sweetheart. Thanks, Professor. You did a nice, nice job procuring resources for us. Now here's a little token of my appreciation. Done too. I'm pretty headstrong, but yeah, that. I'm pretty. I just give them. No. You're sweet, thanks. much you're a sweetheart Plot says that flowers on a grave are as much for the living as they are for the dead if the dead don't look so solemn then neither will we it's Claude for you was well, willing to brighten things up a little Start a collection that chronicles the history of Fogland. I'm having trouble getting my hands on anything significant. Honestly, it might be easier to, to ex excavate an artifact rather than trying to find one for sale. It'd be hard to determine their ages, especially the students. Oh, I mean, we can always go to the roster. Literally says, says their ages right here.
I forgot her her age says secret. <laughs> forgot about that. There you go. Now you know the ages. <laughs> Know the ages of everyone in our roster. Professor? Professor? Yeah, but of course that was. Of course we learned their ages five years later. <laughs> I have written to my father to signal my intention to remain here. Not that I require his approval to do so. There is not much for me to gain by returning to Alliance territory now. But by staying, I will be able to influence the course of events directly on the field of battle. Will you keep an eye on the Alliance leader? Naturally. Someone needs to make certain he does not lead the Alliance to ruin. I have written... Teach me about horses. I need a favor. Some soldiers stationed at, at Fulden's Lock abandoned their posts. They weren't what you'd call um, upstanding folks. It would be a real headache for us if they became banned and started, started wrecking havoc in, in the towns. I could use a hand. Originally, Pyrus has been raiding coastal towns in the Serang region. I'm pretty sure that's the desert. People say that they're attacking innocent civilians and seeking merchant ships. Think you can do something about about that? All right, something to use our battle points on. Fighting alongside you and everyone else is a dream come true, Professor. And don't worry about my little sis. Right now, she's back home helping out with the family business. I kind of figured I was going to be stuck going back and taking over for her. But thanks to you and Claude, I get to work on my dream of becoming a proper knight. Armor! This experience is critical. you walk I will be with you every step of the way anything you ask of me I shall see it through you saved my life and I am in your debt yes teach no fun hey there my friend it's funny how the monastery was once in ruins but now it's downright bustling Thanks to a little promise five years ago, our buddies have all gathered, and even the knights have returned. It's like we were all just waiting for you to awaken. And now, we're all going to band together against the Imperial Army. You should go and talk to everyone if you can. There may be some who are still on the fence. Flight! I'm getting the hang of this. Not quite done. Hi. Okay. I'm thinking. <sighs> hey. Uh. Okay. I'm more of a mercenary than a knight these days. I work to get paid. I never was too attached to Fodlan. I was considering leaving soon, but I might change my mind if you're around. Rhea's absence, I will follow you. That's what she would want me to do. Know that wherever you might lead us, I'll continue searching for Lady Rhea. 
That's fine. Good, because I will not budge on that point. Welcome back, Professor. We're going to go back here. God, I've been playing too much Genshin. <laughs> Fuck. I was holding the L button, L button, and the... <laughs> Oh, but I'm pressing, <laughs> pressing down on the right stick by instinct. <laughs> Fuck. You know he's been playing too much of, too much of Genshin when that happens. Oh, good. Thanks. Ah, magnificent. Exactly what I was looking for. Feel like I asked the right person for help. Did see you play Genshin and was like, nah, I keep seeing too much of Genshin. That's understandable. Professor. Yeah, if you're not into Genshin, then that's fine. Uh, oh. Five long years I've searched for you and the Archbishop. It is a pleasure to see you again. The Church of Seros will follow you from now on, but please do not abandon the search for Lady Rhea. We'll do what, what it takes to find her. Thank you. I know the battles ahead will be dire, but we will support you with all our strength. But yeah, the only reason I'm... The, re the only reason I decided to stream Genshin at all is because I enjoy... I genuinely enjoy the game. Yeah, whatever I do, I I do because I I like certain games. My professor, you haven't changed a bit. At your age, I'd expect your whole demeanor to have changed greatly over five years. Though I suppose I haven't changed either, right? Thank you for noticing, by the way. Ah, just the two of us, forever young. <laughs> oh, let me have my fun. I did air quotes as she said, forever young. I know you can't see it, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can imagine me just going, just doing air quotes as she said that. Thankfully, it appears the records and equipment I need for my research have not been damaged. I am most curious, though. You say you were asleep for five whole years. Incredible. Perhaps this is another effect of your crest. I do look forward to investigating you in greater detail. We can talk about that. Wonderful news. I am most excited to begin. We must find the time, of course. Later. Let's see. I don't know anything about rebuilding, but I can sure do my best to clean up the mess. I'm going to keep Lady Rhea's room spotless, so she can use it right away whenever she gets back. You gotta find her, Professor. You just gotta. Oh. I've grown weary and impatient. These past five years, my hands have been bound. But now... I can finally take action with a clear goal. I'm grateful to you and to everyone. I didn't do anything. Nonsense. Your presence steeled everyone's resolve. Well, 
But yeah, yeah, Genjin will be like, I need a break from, from these randomizers. Time for Genjin. Let's let's go through go through sto story bits and learn some more about about the world of Tibet. But yeah. Everyone does, actually. It's been five years, after all. Five years is a long time. It's half a decade. Alright, that's... As far as I know, all we can do. But, there's one thing I want to do before we... Before we end, end the day here. Need something. Oh, skills. This one? You're all set. Faith. This one? You're all set. And of course, authority. This one? You're all set. There we go. Next will be reason and brawling skills, and the rest will be experience plus ten percent. So when we get those four times, that's that's forty percent of extra experience. See you again soon. So that will be be good to have. All right, so. That's all we can do. Because we got battles to do. And we still have to destruct. Gen training. Alright, you're perfect. Of course you are. You, on the other hand. It was nothing. Of course I got it. You need to butter me up. It was nothing. Today. I'd never have learned this back in my room. I have done it. No need to discontinue with the praises. All thanks to your help. the punch I could do as much in my sleep my efforts bear fruit at last could be useful Stable duty. Work together to clean the stables and beat beat the horses. There's this riding skills. Work together to clear rubble away at the monastery. There's this heavy armor skills. And of course, we still have sky watch. So we're gonna focus on that. 
So the usual people. Alright, yeah. There you are. Question, Professor. You could call Captain Gerald the Blade Breaker. Figure if I want to be a top tier mercenary like him, I'm going to need, need a, a tough sounding title of my own. Tell me out. The Raging. Alright. We got the Raging Bear, the Executioner, and the Woodland Sprite. Which one should we choose, Red? I'm going to let you choose this one. Executioner. All right, the executioner it is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, you picked right. Nicely done. That gave us a lot. Jesus. Jesus, that was a really good pick. I wonder if they actually gave her that title in Fire in Fire Emblem Heroes. I'm real curious now. I would hypothesize that reason, while necessary, cannot re result in true understanding without a little faith. You'll let me test this theory, won't you? Go ahead. So yours. My presence will affect nothing, I'm sure, but I shall put forth the effort. We'll manage. He said it differently this time. We have succeeded handily. I'd never have learned this back in my room. I still have much to learn. Ragnarok. It's all instinct now. I've learned a thing or two from battle. I've come too far to stop now. Oh damn, bolting! I'm pretty sure that's the. I'm pretty sure bolting in this game works the same as it did in the GBA Fire Emblem games. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to look into that. Everyone should sing louder. It feels so good just to let it out. Is this necessary? I'll sing if I must. All right. Bolting. Yeah, basically the same. But it has less uses. It went from five to two. The highest tier of lightning magic. And for good reason. It goes pretty damn far. For you to be a dark flower. Uh, I passed! As I knew I would, of course. 
Thanos signed has been removed because this unit is no longer the correct movement type for the for that battalion. Yep. It has to be certain battalions for certain units. And Constance was Ah uh, fuck. Oh. Constance was a ground a ground type unit. Now she's a flying type unit. Alright. We got some time. Time to do some battles. Level 27, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that quite yet. Right, let's deal with some deserters. Yeah, we're going to do these two quests and then end it probably on the final week. I will have to look at the calendar again. Make sure I'm correct on that. All right, what do we got? We got archers, mages, more archers, more mages, even more archers. <laughs> Shit ton of archers! That's what I've got. So a lot of range. In fact, they're all range. So Claude will have to be on the ground for this one. Better if you were up here instead of down there. Let's just go with this team. Lesson the blow. Wow. I want to learn 
even more. I wish that one point didn't go with the strength. What's my strategy? Cut through. Let's make this quick. You will regret this. Dead. Oh. I will not die yet. I could learn from that. <laughs> Magic. Leave it to me. I do this for all of us. Yes, I've got you. Hell yeah. She still hasn't used her crest. <laughs> anytime she was on anytime I like anytime during stream. Not once. <laughs> Except for that one time. At your service. But that was just luck. Time to slow down. All right, here we go. Yep, just as I thought. No crest, no crest activation. meant to be. Then we can just do this. Fuck. I'll be aware of you. Then. And here we go again. No Ragnarok for you. Oh, 
Oh, the turn back. You were lucky. Yeah, that's basically what I did. <laughs> Can't lie about that. What? No, don't do that. Mount. Oh god, Braxis. That hurt. But he's dead. A fitting outcome. He also has the Braxis. That's not good. Yes, you can reach him. You can just reach him! Jesus! Now. Sorry, but it's you or me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I might have fucked up. But not, not that it matters. Yeah, this is why. Too easy. But he dodged. And he's dead. <laughs> you got yourself killed. Literally. in the north. Back to the desert region. Okay, not the desert region. They got silver weapons. So we got swords, an archer, a mage, 
Whole lots of swords. <laughs> That's all they got. Yeah, they have one archer and one mage, and yeah, as you can see, just nothing but swords. <laughs> Around. Leone is going to be useless in this fight. Spring in Yuri. in the armor, right? Now we can buy as many silver swords as we want. That brave oh, sword. That the one? Thanks a bunch. Brave oh, lance. That the one? Thanks a bunch. Brave oh, axe. That the one? Thanks a bunch. Brave bow. Oh, is that the one? Thanks a bunch. And that's it. We got for the item shop. Silver shield. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. A bunch of oh, elixirs. Thanks a bunch. Bunch of oh, master that seals. That Ooh, that's expensive. Thanks a bunch. That's it. We have some stuff to sell. Yeah, we can't sell sacred weapons. Once you have them, you have them. Even the curse, even the curse weapon. Which, which is understandable because it's fucking cursed. Is that the one? Let's make some money back. Thanks a bunch. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. As if, as if we haven't spent anything. <laughs> All right. Come back soon. Let's save. Oh yeah, you can reach. Fuck. How about you go over here then? You just straight up kill them! <laughs> Alright! This is all clutch! A fitting outcome. I'm in.
right, you have silence. Forgot about that. I've never Don't seen that animation. Amazing. I'll cut through. All right, next. I'll do my best. And I will just do this. <laughs> Leave it to me. Shall we? What's my strategy? Let's make this quick. You read my way. Jesus Christ. At your service. I do this for all of us. Just do this. Uh, they got they got wet feet. It's probably cold. That's probably it. <laughs> Closer to my goal. I need you to be closer. Okay, <laughs> they're apparently good against magic. What is your magic guy? Uh? My four. Other resilience. Fourteen. All right. There we go. Very good use of your crest. What did you expect? Dead no matter what. I'll be home again soon. Oh, 
And one more for good measure. And you're dead no matter what. Once I've decided you're done, you're done. Will not die yet. Hmm. Yeah, that's how it feels sometimes too. Oh god, that hurt. down be at peace sorry One to remember. More cards for my sleeve. Professor. I've never been interested in magic, but I do recognize that a swordsman who understands it that has an advantage over one who doesn't. Help me hold my skills in reason in addition to the sword. That's really what I'm already doing, so... That's what a swordmaster is. 
I'm going to keep the Moral Savant a surprise. Can't argue with results, can you? Perseverance is the key. I still need to improve. Impressed yet? Ah, I finally get it! Thank you so much. I heard you had handed a crushing defeat to those Formulakid deserters. Sounds like after your little intervention, they changed their tune and are back on our side. Thanks for keeping them in line. I admit, Samurai's are... I'm glad I asked you. Samurai's is our scary martial artist when it comes to wielding katanas. Kendo is like fencing. Yeah, that's basically all it is. Nice work out there. Some mercenaries heard news of your valiant leadership and have come to the monastery to offer their services. Blue cheese! <laughs> Time for a seminar. I'm surprised Felix is here! <laughs> I'm getting the hang of this. Boganone. Some things you can't learn in a book. Wind in a earth stance. I didn't even know I cared this much. This will come in handy. Death! We got death! <laughs> Shooting down our foes before they get near us, I can greatly reduce the risk of harm to my friends. That in mind, my aim is to master both skills. Any objections? It's a birthday! It's Alfred's birthday! A gift from Claude. Leave letter from Claude. I wonder if we can view it. I shall aim even higher. I am getting to the heart of it. I'll do my best with this. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, we got some more supports! Oh god! <laughs> Stay right there. You're always running away. You must really find me irritating. Irritating? I know. I completely... What? N no, I mean, I know I'm irritating, but... Huh? Stop. Do you remember when you came up behind me and knocked the sword from my hands? I need you to teach me that technique. Sword? Teach? Technique? 
That's um that's a joke, right? Because that's that's just about the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Maybe so, but I saw you do it. <sighs> you don't remember? You moved like a flash, and before I knew it. Nope! Wasn't Bernie! You must have dreamed it. Unless my accuser dares to produce some evidence. Yes, evidence. I still have your satchel, see? Oh, my satchel. Wait, that? No, that's, um, that's not mine. You can't prove it's mine. He you held it for five years. <laughs> I'm innocent, I swear. Merciful Zero, save me. This is getting nowhere. But, hmm, maybe I should corner her like last time. Then she'll use the technique without thinking. <laughs> Never mind. I'm done here. Lies! All lies! I didn't do any... Uh-huh. Well, where'd he go? Strategically speaking, if I poised an archer to lie in wait here, and then lured the enemy in over here... Lysithia, are you up late studying again? I am, but I don't see how it's any of your business. Look, you don't need to work yourself so hard. You're already as skilled as they come. There aren't many people out there who can match you. Everyone knows that. I apologize for my sharpness. I just feel pressured. Why would you, of all people, feel pressured? I place a lot of personal pressure on myself. I need to become as strong as possible to put my parents at ease. When I met with Count Ordelia before, he said you were his pride and joy. But he also said his only concern was that you might be pushing yourself too hard. If you really want to make your parents happy, surely you should start by taking care of yourself. That's true. Then it's settled. Get some rest. Save your energy for tomorrow's battle. You really are very mature, Claude, despite the impression you give off. And I clearly have plenty of growing to do. I probably don't have much room to come down on you for harping on me. Oh, really? Does that mean you won't get mad if I treat you like a child from now on? That is absolutely not what I said. Just after you finally earned a small degree of respect from me, too. Hey, just think about it for a second. You're the only one in the world I treat like this. That means you're a pretty special person to me. You think I'm special? Take it however you like. Or maybe the thought is too much for a kiddo like you. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah, don't do anything you might regret. I don't want to be turned to dust. I'm feeling generous. So I'll let you off easy this one time. <laughs> well, that's good of you. All joking aside, go get yourself some shut-eye, okay? After all, if you don't hurry up, the boogeyman might come out and eat you. All right, buddy, you asked for it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Way to ruin the mood, Claude. <laughs> another battle coming up what do you think of our chances winning is always the goal at any rate I've done everything I can to prepare that's the right attitude I'm sure they're doing all they can on their side too I don't doubt it but however strong they are it's no more than a Fodlan concern who knows how far this world extends beyond the boundaries of Fodlan talk of strength or weakness doesn't amount to much when it's only in relation to a tiny corner of the world guess you're right Thinking about it like that, even this war seems like a storm in a teacup. Exactly. It's nothing more than an internal quarrel amongst the people of Fodlan. <laughs> Typical laid-back Claude. I always like talking to you. Your perspective on the world is so refreshing. Things I thought were obvious turn out not to be. The way you think, that changes the way you see things. Common sense never tells the whole story. It's similar to what we were talking about before, about how you need to doubt yourself first. True enough, 
But where did you get these ideas? That perspective of looking past the walls of Fodlan, when it's all we can see in front of us. Do you really want to know? I do. Uh, but I'm afraid now isn't the time. When this war is won, I'll tell you all about it. It'll be easier for me to show you than to tell you. Show me? Are we going somewhere? It's quite a distance. You'll start to appreciate how big the world is if you go. <laughs> Sounds eye-opening. I'll look forward to it. Can we call it a promise? Yes, it's a promise. But first, let's win this war and leave it far behind us. <laughs> Ignaz, you're in a hurry. Is something the matter? The professor wants us to gather at the training grounds. Didn't you hear? Of course I did. I'll head over in a bit. Um, are you sure you want to wait? I can hear the professor calling. We're not needed until after the lunch hour. We have plenty of time. Oh, I guess so. I was just panicking a bit. I wish I could be calm like you. Why are you so unflappable? Well, rushing around doesn't help, does it? I mostly try to stay out of everyone's way. There's no point in overexerting yourself. Anything that needs doing will get done eventually. Huh. So that's the secret to happiness. I suppose. But it's not nearly as philosophical as you make it sound. No, it's perfect. I feel like... I don't quite fit in with other people. So in situations like this, where I have to talk to someone, I panic a little. Please, teach me how to be as calm and collected as you are. Honestly, Ignatz, you're making this out to be much bigger than it is. I mostly just don't pay attention. Being like me is more trouble than it's worth. But you always seem so happy. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no need to apologize. Come on, let's head to the training grounds. I may slow you down now. All right. You don't have to rush. But I'm going to anyway. See you there. <coughs> Bye. Goodness, don't strain yourself. <laughs> be the end of the stream. In mission, I'm going to do another save. All right. Thank you very much for coming to the stream for those watching the VOD. Thank you for watching. I'm going to say this right now. There will be a stream tomorrow instead of Sunday, so we'll be continuing thing with more Wind Waker randomizer. Yeah, I want to I want to get that done as soon as possible so we can get caught up in this in the story within Genshin Impact. Yeah, Fire Emblem can always be quite the trip. Yep, yeah, see you tomorrow, Red. Now then, let's see who's currently streaming on Thursday. What do we got here? Might doing Legend of Dragoon. It's probably that's probably the game I'm thinking of too. 
Oh, Dan, Dan is playing Blast Match Zero. Why are we played it for? We got Jiggy. He's playing Pokemon Unite. Miguel playing Monster Hunter Rise. Also got, he also got what you like gaming is playing Doom Eternal. Huh. I wish you luck in that. <laughs> Reaper McReaperson playing Kingdom Hearts 2. That's a game playing more Final Fantasy 14. Benzilla playing Elden Ring. <laughs> Monaco Gamer playing King Hearts 3. That one playing Tales of Hysteria. What else we got? I already know who I'm ho who I'm who I'm writing. I already know who I'm writing. We're going I'm going to be rating Witchy Live Gaming. Doom Eternal is not easy game, especially on the easiest difficulty, <laughs> considering what Doom is about. Like, I, even I have not be, beaten that game, because I get overwhelmed <laughs> by Doom Eternal specifically. But, I do not see any reason why I wouldn't do, do that for game clearing, though. Yeah. All right. Looks like she just started. I don't. I don't know exactly where she is in the game. Well, it seems like the beginning part of it. All right. Schedule. Of course, tomorrow is more Wind Waker randomizer because my dad is going to be come, coming home on Sunday night. Now, I want to make sure I I get that done as soon as, as soon as possible. Saturday, I'm I'm <laughs> I'm going to be real busy because. Because I still got to head over to Bruce's place to pick up my mail. Get more rent. Pick up some groceries. And D and play as D&D. &D. Yeah. And Tuesday. Uh, we'll see how far we get in The Legend of Zelda. Diminished Cap. I'm hoping to beat it. But I don't remember how long that game is. I'm pretty sure there's more than just the four elements. Anyway, this has been Tip Flipper 20. I'm flipping tables. See you guys next time for tomorrow. For Wind Waker Randomizer. There you guys.